So everyone wants to know what the housing market is doing. We get a ton of questions this time of year and certainly especially right now with uh, just the hectic pace that we've had in the market. So let's begin by talking a little bit about what last year uh, brought about. I'm going to use statistics from 2017 in Salt Lake County, but really Utah County and Davis County had very similar statistics. Um, for When we're speaking about single family homes in 2017, uh, the average home price increased by 10%. So the median price home ended the year at $325,000. That's, that's an all-time high. Um, it's also the sixth straight year of rising home values, um, which is fantastic for the market. The number of home sales, ironically, dropped by 3%. This is because of a limited supply. And you've probably heard this, that you know supply and demand uh, is the name of the game and supply is in really short uh, demand right now. We just don't have enough of it. So we need more homes on the market. Um, since 2011, uh, the median priced home in Salt Lake County has actually increased by 50%. So in 2011, the median priced home in Salt Lake County was $216,000. And today, uh, that median priced home is $325,000. Talking about condos and townhouses, we actually hit an all-time high in the number of units sold. So we were up 4%. This is the biggest year of multifamily sales uh, in our history, which is really exciting. That median-priced home also increased. It increased by 11% up to uh, a price of $225,000. So that's kind of what 2017 had to in store for us. So let's talk about what to expect in 2018. Um, I get a lot of people that are asking right now or asking, hey, should I make a, a move right now? Should I wait for a shift? Are we in a bubble? And uh, so let's talk a, just for a few minutes about that and what things look like and what is expected of 2018. Demand is expected to outpace supply again this year, just like last year. And new construction remains very strong. It's going to be another great year for new construction. Prices are expected to increase another 7 to 8%. So we had 10% increase last year. We expect another 7 to 8% this year before slowing down to a more sustainable play, uh, a pace in 2019 and 2020. Hopefully, you know, things start to taper off and just kind of slow to a more uh, sustainable pace. Right now, we're at such a pace that that can't go on over the long haul and be good for us. But short term, uh, it's great for sellers. The Federal Reserve has plans to increase interest rates uh, at least three times years this year. They've already announced that. They're going to have at least three increases this year. And uh, experts expect that rates will end the year somewhere at or near 5%. So despite rising home prices, affordability remains strong. And this is where we talk about, you know, are we in a bubble? Am I, am I doing the wrong thing by making a move now or is now a good time to sell a house or buy a house and make a move in real estate. So we actually have good affordability right now, which sounds really incredible. If we just went up 10% last year, we expect that rise another seven to 8% in values this year. How is it possible that we still have affordability? Well, the reason for that is that we actually have, you know, number one, we have a really robust local economy. So as you know, a lot of businesses are pouring into the state. Um, demand for, for jobs in, continues to increase. In fact, we really are at a rate of unemployment right now that we have total employment because those that don't want to work aren't working and everybody else is in the job force right now. So uh, as that happens, that's increase in salaries. And so as salaries increase, even though prices on homes are increasing, those salaries are keeping up with those higher prices. And so uh, affordability has not been an issue. Also, um, favorable interest rates. So even though rates have climbed a little bit in the last few months, um, they're still at great rates. They're really affordable. And then finally, uh, we have low debt. So consumer debt is actually a lot less uh, than it has been in the past. And because of that, uh, it's, the indication is that we are not currently in a housing bubble. Now, markets shift, real estate uh, ebbs and flows. And so at some point, things are definitely going to slow down. Uh, but the economists, the experts right now um, predict another very strong year in 2018. And in the foreseeable four or five year period moving forward, um, our local economy here along the Wasatch Front 
looks fantastic. Just before the market crash of 2008, um, the medium priced household could only afford 30% of the homes along the Wasatch Front. Um, today, that number, even though we have higher prices, uh, the number of people that can afford uh, homes in the Salt Lake Valley uh, has actually increased. We're up at 65% right now. So of the median price income, um, they can afford 65% of the homes that are available to purchase on the market. And that's a great number. They call that the housing index. And as that housing index remains above 50%, that's a pretty stable real estate uh, market and something that you can feel good about. And so um, with all of these factors that we've talked about here today, it's, uh, the indicators are that we're in a, a great economy, um, that it's going to move forward, that the next three to five years look strong here in the, in the local market. And uh, so if you're thinking about making a move, uh, now's actually a really good time to consider it. One thing to really kind of keep an eye on is interest rates. As those rates increase, like I said, uh, the Federal Reserve is expected to raise them at least three times this year. And as those rates increase, then affordability becomes an issue and um, it's, it's, you know, it's gonna cost you more for that same house that you were gonna buy. So the sooner the better if you are thinking of making a move anytime soon. Um, you can definitely like wait for a market shift and people try to guess on that all the time, but it's kind of like waiting, trying to predict the weather, you know, a storm coming across the Wasatch Front. Super hard to predict exactly when and where that's gonna hit and how much snow that's gonna, you know, leave on the valley floor. And uh, so, uh, like I said, all indicators are we have a strong market moving forward, but keep an eye on interest rates and make sure, you know, if you're thinking of doing it in the next three to five years, making a move, uh, then, you know, it'd be a good time to consider it now. I hope this helps. If you have more questions or you'd like to discuss, you know, the forecast uh, in more depth, then feel free to give Jeff, myself, Jay, any of us a call and, uh, or send us a text message or emails. We'd love to talk to you more about what the market's doing and what we uh, see it doing in the future. So have a great day.